Hi friends and happy Monday. As we're heading into the first week of October, I am so excited to share with you my 2023 Eastern Sierra Fall Foliage Guide and we're going to explore over two dozen unique spots. Come join me. If you're new here to Flying Dawn Marie, welcome. As a travel blogger, every week I share unique adventures with you on my website, flyingdawnmarie.com. I give detailed travel and adventure guides. And then here in my YouTube channel, each Monday, we go on a virtual visit together. Now, on this overview of the 2023 fall spots, I'm going to be sharing some spots from years past that haven't peaked yet. And then I'm gonna be sharing some spots in real time, hoping you'll have time to plan your trip for this season and this week we're going to start off at Rock Creek Lake where the fall colors are about 20-25% here um, on the last Friday of September and I think next week could be spectacular in this area. The leaves here at Rock Creek Lake are still fairly green with hints of yellow but in the coming week they should turn vibrant orange and gold. Make sure to check out my full Rock Creek Lake blog post and YouTube video. I'll link it here to see what it looks like when it is in full bloom, which should be in the coming days. If you're looking for a fun little Eastern Sierra hike to really catch the fall colors, Rock Creek Lake is definitely your spot. On my website, I have a full Rock Creek Lake blog post from last year when the colors were peaking, and you can watch my full YouTube video vlog number 166 for a virtual Rock Creek Lake visit. The drive around the Rock Creek area is gorgeous, and if you continue on to the June Lake Loop up on Highway 158, you're provided easy access to all four of the unique lakes here, which each have a unique autumn look. From the evergreen and the golden aspen and the beautiful reflecting lakes, this is a popular spot for fall photographers. Another great place to see the fall colors is McGee Creek Canyon. This video was captured on Friday, September 29th. You can see it's still fairly lime green here, but let me take you back to last year and these incredible vibrant colors should be popping up in the next week or so. The creek is lined with beautiful aspen and you can see the fall colors from many spots, but for the real show, you can take the trail for six miles and beautiful mountain views. Even though the fall colors only last here for a few weeks, McGee Creek is certainly a California highlight when it comes to the autumn colors. Mammoth Lakes has no shortage of incredible spots to see the fall colors too, with one of the most popular spots being the Twin Lakes area. Of course, Lake Mary, Lake Maymay, and Starkwater Lake are also popular, and there's another spot close by I also enjoy. Hilton Creek and Crowley Lake aren't always included on lists of fall colors, but they have some pretty fine aspen, if you ask me. If you're not familiar with the town of Bishop, you might not think of the canals here, but if you head off the main roads, you'll find some beautiful waterways and some great fall foliage.
canals lead you to the Buckley Pond, and there are beautiful ducks, deer, wildlife, and of course, the fall colors. River flows through Bishop. You'll see the wonderful canals, fall colors, and some great fishing spots. About 15 miles northwest of Bishop, you'll find beautiful Round Valley nestled against the massive eastern Sierra Nevada mountains. Driving this ranching community will transport you into the Old West as you encounter the old weathered barn structures framed by fall colors. Round Valley into Pine Creek Canyon is another spot to catch the beautiful yellow trees in fall, and it's really less than 20 minutes from the main drive in Bishop. Pine Creek Trail Pass has multiple trails and there are plenty of opportunities to stop along the drive to the trailheads that offer incredible fall scenes framed by epic granite mountains. And make sure to venture down to Gable Creek near the end of Pine Creek Road to be transported into an autumn wonderland here. Located just 20 miles southwest of Bishop, North Lake is surrounded by majestic mountain peaks as well as aspen groves. North Lake is located over 9,200 feet above sea level, and it's a popular spot for hikers and anglers alike. There's a small campground, and backpackers can obtain a wilderness permit for overnight adventures in the surrounding area in the John Muir Wilderness. The views here are some of the most classic scenes of California's Eastern Sierra. And for details, you can see my entire North Lake YouTube video, vlog number 63, or check out my entire North Lake blog post at flyingdonmarie.com. Another fall foliage favorite spot of mine is the small lake of Intake 2, located just 16 miles west of the town of Bishop. The Intake 2 is a short, less than one mile round trip loop, but it's a wonderful place to enjoy the fall colors. The lake here is fed by Bishop Creek, and this is a popular place for fishing as well as for hiking. For details on this wonderful little lake, the hike around the lake, and other activities in the area, you can watch my YouTube video vlog number 111, or see my full Intake 2 blog post at flyingdonmarie.com. Located along the upper portion of Bishop Creek, Aspendale boasts a large grove of aspen trees spectacular to see in the autumn. Aspendale is a wonderful place to catch the trees and the fall colors here. Near Aspendale, you'll find the man-made Lake Sabrina, situated over 9,000 feet above sea level. Both hiking and fishing are popular in this area, and backpackers can obtain wilderness permits for overnight adventures in the John Muir Wilderness. For details on this fascinating lake, watch my YouTube video, vlog number 113, or see my full Lake Sabrina blog post at flyingdonmarie.com.
Located in the Sabrina Basin hiking area, the Middle Fork Bishop Creek section of Bishop Creek is filled with fall foliage views. From the main parking area where the 168 meets North Lake Road, you can head out for some incredible hiking following Bishop Creek to old bridges, reflective waters, bubbling rapids, and even waterfall views all framed with the hues of the seasons. The drive to our next spot might be winding, but it is always filled with incredible fall colors. If you're gonna visit North Lake, I'd absolutely recommend visiting South Lake too. You'll enjoy beautiful colors on the way to the lake, and you'll see some fun fall foliage right here from the water's edge. Covering over 175 acres and sitting at 9,700 feet above sea level, South Lake is incredibly scenic and it can be one of the early places where the fall leaves change. It can always be a bit brisk and windy at these elevations too. Just before you reach South Lake, at the end of South Lake Road, make sure to stop at the small turnoff on the right with a handful of spots for Weir Lake aka Weir Pond. Here you'll find a marshy area and tall grasses framed by granite hillsides with patches of the beautiful fall colors. The South Fork Bishop Creek community has some wonderful fall foliage and a pretty impressive waterfall too. Mist falls can make a quick stop and it is beautiful to see the yellows, oranges, lime greens, and reds next to the flowing water here. South Lake Road hugs and crosses over the South Fork of Bishop Creek the entire way to South Lake. There are plenty of opportunities to stop off and explore the South Fork Bishop Creek area, and I definitely recommend it for the incredible fall foliage here. Lundy Lake might just be one of the most easily overlooked lakes here in the Eastern Sierra. Sitting at 7,800 feet above sea level, you're sure to get some great fall colors. The Lundy Canyon Trailhead is located less than two miles past the lake and there are multiple trails you can head out from here. Our next stop is currently peaking this week, so consider visiting now to see the colors. The Virginia Lakes Basin area is probably most well known for its incredible fishing, but the five mile drive up Virginia Lakes Road is lined with aspen groves that are stunning in the fall. And there are multiple hiking trails to enjoy in the area too. Make sure to see my full Virginia Lakes vlog number 215 for a virtual visit of this area or read my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. Conway Summit is an easy pull off just off the 395 and it has stunning fall foliage. Tioga Pass heading into Yosemite always has some beautiful fall colors.
The Twin Lakes area is located approximately nine miles southwest of the town of Bridgeport, and these two large alpine lakes are easy to get to and offer legendary fishing, hiking, and fall colors. See my YouTube video, vlog number 216 for a virtual visit, or check out my full Twin Lakes blog post for all the details. Just north of the Sonora Pass Junction, the West Walker River hugs Highway 395 and provides some beautiful fall scenery. The Walker River Canyon and Antelope Valley here are peppered with an array of pine, willow, aspen, and cottonwood, creating a wonderful array of greens, yellows, and orange colors in the autumn. You'll find stunning fall scenery all along Highway 108 over Sonora Pass. Now, a few of my personal favorite stops here include Sardine Meadow, Levitt Meadow Overlook, and the beautiful Levitt Falls Waterfall Overlook. You could enjoy a picnic here. The South Fork Stanislaus River has stunning views, and Columns of the Giant is an incredible place to stop and take in views. You could enjoy all day driving this winding, beautiful fall road. Our last stop on this year's fall foliage adventure is Convict Lake. Now this lake is beautiful year round, but let me show you what it's looking like right now this year. It is Friday, September 29th, and this is what Convict Lake is looking like today. Green with hints of yellow. Um, I think it'll be about next week when we'll really start seeing the oranges and golds, but it's beautiful here. The water is so clear here, you can see the fish swimming beneath you. It's no wonder this is such a popular place for water activities like kayaking, canoeing, and fishing with the incredible mountain peaks behind you. Convict Lake is a beautiful spot to visit any time of year, but if you can catch those fall leaves turning, you're in for a real treat here. The gentle lakeside trail that leads around Convict Lake will give you wonderful views of the colors and the beautiful mountains here. I have a full blog post on Convict Lake or you can watch my YouTube video vlog number 110 for a virtual visit of this beautiful area. Thank you so much for joining me this week to enjoy the fall colors here in California. Now for more information on all these spots, see my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com where I also have an entire Eastern Sierra section with dozens of fall foliage posts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.